Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so on our hands now, we do have Sagittarius' weekly tarot reading here with these tarot cards for August 12th to uh, August 18th. And by the way, that relates to Sagittarius' moon, sun and rising. But uh, give me a couple of seconds, guys, uh, just to make the shuffling here. And uh, then we're going to jump right into it. <clears throat> All right, lovely. Okay, so uh, the first card which represents your topic, guys, is going to be the weekly topic here. That is to be the King of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. So I will kind of like stop for a second here just to uh, take a look at these two cards because they are the main narrative, really. So, um, well, that, that kind of like a, looks like a shock to me that you're going to go through. Shock from a point of, uh, I don't know how to really explain it. And now, shock means, uh, in this specific case, for a positive end. So, what these two cards here really represent is that we do have a person of the King of Pentacles. All right, that is the main topic. And this person is willing to give you what you want, but you will need to make the necessary let go or a sacrifice no different than for example you want to be with uh, with this man okay but this man tells you look we can always be, only be together if you for example quit drinking or quit smoking or you know don't devote so much into your career and these kind of stuff the point here with these two cards is that finally you are going to get someone to 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 invest in you in any way you know it, it could be money it could it, it could be as well emotional investments no matter what but the thing is this person is not going to do it out of a charity or anything it is because uh, they are going to do it because they see potential in it because they see that there is something in it for them and that will require from you to make the necessary sacrifice, to draw the line, you know, which from another standpoint, really Sagittarius is also give you the freedom of choice. I mean, you may decide, well, screw that. I don't want to, you know, give up smoking or give up drinking or stop seeing these friends of mine because just my, neck, my new suitor doesn't like them, you know, or I don't want to... Um, for example, sacrifice my Wednesday evening, which I play bridge in, so because my boss promised that he's gonna raise my salary if I over if I stay additionally hours into work Wednesday evening. So it's entirely up to you, but you need to know that that person that you are trying to invest in you in any way, emotionally or a um, materially, finally is gonna be willing to do so, but there will be a conditions, all right? So this is what these two cards are representing. The next one here, it is the positive aspect, which stands as a four of swords. And then the last one is going to be the guidance that we do have. So it is the eight of swords. So first things first about the reading, we do have a lot of swords cards and the sword is uh, associated with uh, a mental, um, mental penetration, if I may express it that way. Therefore, there will be a lot of uh, a lot for you to think about throughout the week, especially of that proposition or a, a, a stunning revelation, I would say, all right? 
Uh, and uh, the good thing here with the Four of Swords really, which is the positive aspect, is that you can take your time about it. It's uh, it, Even if it would have came about uh, in a uh, guidance form, for example, it, all, it also would have mean that you do have a time to think about it. Maybe you don't have the time to think about it for a couple of weeks, but you don't have to decide straight away with the snap of your fingers, all right? So before we... Um, scrutinize the reading card by card let's just go and run the cards one more time so we do have the king of pentacles which is the very topic of your week sagittarius followed by the ten of swords which stands for the challenges afterwards it is the four of swords which stands for the positive aspect and in the final card that we do have for you guys is going to be the eight of swords which is the guidance. So King of Pentacles, well, that represents the person. It could be a man, it could be a woman. Well, most likely it's gonna be a man, but it could be as well a woman, all right? But the thing is that this is a very calm, sedated, and as well, how do I place it, self-absorbed person. Therefore, they don't do something for the heck of it, all right? They always think two steps ahead or rather like they always looked at the thing from a, a beneficial standpoint therefore um if they for example help you with uh with a project of yours or they want to be with you in a relationship it doesn't really matter this is because they see potential in you right and in in what you can offer to them as well the accompanied card is going to be the lovers and that is a, a passive uh, passive enemies and this combination here pretty much speaks to me that they have made up their mind it's just you know they had their deliberation they kind of struggle to think about do you really worth the hassle or do you not worth the hassle well they decide that you do worth the hassle and now it's time and they are willing to make the necessary sacrifices by the way and now it's time for you to do the same okay and it's uh, it's a, a week where you need to traverse that that threshold of where you either go for it or you don't go for it you cannot postpone it indefinitely into the future i mean this cooperation interaction relationship you know or, or a business partnership or whatever the whole point here with these cards is that that man or a woman they approaches you with their final offer it doesn't get any better than that i mean you may not like it but it's their final offer and you have to decide am i gonna do it or it's just i will hope that i'm gonna get something better in the future so the next one, which is the challenge here, is going to be the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords in this specific follow-up represents the oppression, you know, the and the awareness that whatever you decide for, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be definitive in a sense of that these decisions of yours are gonna be irrevocable. The actions that you're going to do according uh, toward that person are going to be reversible as well. And in generally this week, it is the end of an era, let's say, and a new era is to begin. Now, uh, again, important thing, and especially when it comes as a challenge, the important thing as a challenge here is not to struggle against it. Just accept that it is what it is, you know, that this person came around and just make up your mind about it throughout the week because it could play out in such a way that this really handsome woman let's say or a guy comes around and they you know kind of propose you to start dating and you are shocked you're stunned i mean and you may start thinking that there is something behind it there is a a, a catch into it all right and therefore not giving them your answer throughout the week well then they will decide that you after all doesn't worth the hassle you know so it's important here to accept the things exactly as the things are. It doesn't get any through than that. Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the Hermit. So as we said, you know, that is my air conditioning, guys. It's going to stop in a second. So as we said, are you going to uh, are you gonna throw yourself into it or should you wait for something better? Well, the Hermit here as a challenge, unfortunately, points that in, in this aspect of that that person comes around, better isn't coming anytime soon now you need to know here that tarot is for rather short period of time all right or at least throughout my methods it doesn't cover more than you know one year okay but 
are you willing to risk one more year? It is the question. Because with these two cards, they are, by the way, active, uh, active enemies. Uh, you may think that you are smarter than that situation, that you can put that person down into your knees, right, and dictate the rules, but you can't, okay, because that person will know about it, that you are trying to put those nefarious moves, slinky kind of like a surreptitious actions, and is going to pull away straight away with no warning whatsoever. Now, the next card that we do have here, it is going to be the positive aspect, and that is the Four of Swords. So, the person itself is going to be open for conversations, any kind of a conversations, negotiations, take it that way, as in the negotiations. Therefore, throughout the week, it's very important to divulge everything that you are afraid of, everything that you hope for as well, because there will be things that you are not going to be on the same page at, all right? And that is completely normal because we are individuals and we do have differences. In this case, however, Sagittarius, the difference is it is what is going to make you special for one another and uh, special into a, a business venture, for example, or a business conquest, relationship, friendship, partnership, you name it. But the thing is that you need to know how you stand, where you stand according to that person and that person as well needs to know the same thing. So there is no disappointment further into the future. And on top of that, you know, you find a, a resolution to those um how, how do I place it? Contradictive a, a differences that you may have with one another. The accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Cups formation. It is a uh, active uh, neutrals. So the Two of Cups, everybody knows that it does express a uh, emotional attachment, love, and all these kind of stuff. But it comes around here as a, a passive, as a active, excuse me, neutral to the Four of Swords. Therefore, even if there could be an emotional attachment, that is not going to be a prerequisite for you to act irrationally. That is fantastic for partnership, business partnership. You know, you may love each other, you may end up in a relationship, but this relationship will never going to be a, a plight for the business to move forward. As a matter of fact, if you end up in a relationship and you decide to divorce, you know, you decide to break up, you will still be fantastic partners into your career. That is just an example. And if this is about relationship overall, well, apart, from, even if you break up in the future, which is not guaranteed, all right, you may just live together until they do us apart, uh, you will still become friends because you're going to be on the same page, because you're going to talk about what you expect, what your differences are, um, what you're afraid of and all these kind of stuff. There won't be any secrets in between and that is very, very important. So this partnership, cooperation or a relationship to work for you and for that person as well. And the final card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, this is going to be the Eight of Swords. That is the guidance. So uh, it's a pretty, it's a bit baffling that the Eight of Swords comes here because the Eight of Swords is related strictly to the truth. And it points to one thing. It points that the, the situation you are finding yourself at, like it or not, it is because you made it that way, all right? If you like it, that's great. If you don't like it, well, it's time for you to look outside of the box and to think how you can improve it because you do, you can improve it. But once again, you have to accept the things as the things are because the Eight of Swords dictates that if you are ignorant for the truth, that makes you slave because the truth is what makes you free. Or rather like the sentence is, if the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, all right? So do not kind of like stun yourself with this approach, let's say. Like I said, you know, that could be this handsome guy who approaches you, proposes you to go on a date with you, and you're kind of stunned. You don't know what to say. You feel unprepared. You feel that you're going to disappoint him when you when you go out on a date and, and those kind of stuff. And kind of like you may want to postpone it indefinitely until you feel ready, or you ain't going to feel more ready than that. I mean, you are feeling as ready as you can be ever, all right? And you are not going to disappoint him. Just be sure of it. And the final card here is going to be um, the Eight of Wands. So we do have double weights and we are talking here about a stability. We're talking here about karma as well, because the eight is the number of, of karmic payback also. OK, so once again, it's a, a consolidation of my uh, of my statement that 
you made it, all right? You are the one who worked for it. You shaped it. I mean, this, 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 um, this circumstances, this event, that approach, this opening, right? You made it that way because of decisions back in the days, you know, or actions or whatever. And now it's time to reap the fruits of your labor. Now it's time to collect, okay? And it is going to be hell of a collection, to be honest. It's, it, it looks really good. I mean, it looks really beneficial. It looks, it looks with tremendous potential. Only if you are willing to do what it takes, because the Ten of Swords with the Hermit, like I said, it's it's a tough thing to overcome, guys. I mean, the the sacrifice for for many of you is gonna be something that you're gonna find rather preposterous. What what I mean is that you are gonna find it very difficult to to detach from. All right, because it could be that this person comes around, wants to date with you because they know that they like that you like them, and they say, look, I'm I'm willing to date with you, you know, to give us a chance. But you can't deal with that social circle anymore. It's just there is no place for me in there. And it's something that got to go if you want to be with that person. It's just saying, all right? So it will take something from you, but it will give you in return. Are you willing to take that replacement? Are you willing to take that substitution? Entirely up to you. So yeah, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 12th to August 18th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.